Hello, welcome in our Educare company. Uh, I am Mr. Tobias, a teacher of economics, and I am here to continue or to proceed with our topic that is population. Uh, today we are going to look about a subtopic uh, in this topic of population that is uh, the theory of population, uh, where now we are going to look about the theories that uh, were wrote uh, based on principles of population of uh, 1798. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the Masasian theory of population uh, that was wrote in uh, Great Britain uh, by uh, Mr. Masas, Robert, Mr. Thomas Robert Masas during Industrial Revolution in Great Britain. So, uh, this theory advanced by Lev Thomas Robert Masas, who gave his essay on the principles of population of 1798, and uh, the study made in Great Britain, uh, where, where now, uh, during that period in Great Britain, there was uh, Industrial Revolution, where the discoveries of machines replaced now uh, the use of human being labor. Uh, now, uh, this theory, uh, during this theory now, in Great Britain, there was well improved nutrition and social services. Uh, but the theory shows the relationship between population growth and production of food and uh, fixed supply of land. Uh, so here we are going to look how uh, Masas uh, explained about the relationship between the population growth and uh, the increase in production of food but under the fixed supply of land. While we know that uh, under the fixed supply of land uh, production is made but uh, when production goes up when production increases, it will reach a time that um, the, the law of diminishing return must operate, where production will reach to the maximum, then uh, it, will stand, it will start or begin to decline. So, as uh, Masas uh, explained here, but that as population increases, also production of food increases. While land supply is constant, we know that uh, the supply of land is constant or is fixed in supply. Land is fixed in supply. Uh, we do not expect that uh, one hectare of land that after two days we shall have five hectares. So it cannot happen. That's why Masas explained that uh, the land is fixed in supply. So uh, Masas now tried to explain the relationship between the, uh, the, the, the population growth and the increase in production while there is a fixed supply of land. So this study was made in Britain but uh, he made now uh, the conclusion over the world as it can be applicable even to the other countries worldwide. Now there was the uh, different arguments now that um, Masas uh, explained or proposed uh, that now we are going to look now these uh, main arguments for uh, this theory of uh, Masas. Uh, first, population increases faster than production of food stuffs. Now Masas um, explained that the population growth increases faster than uh, the production of food stuffs. So food stuffs, it means that all the uh, goods which are, which are used now uh, as, con as consumption by human beings. So uh, everything we consume uh, from either agricultural activities or from uh, industrial activities, especially production of uh, finished goods for consumption uh, is what we, we generalize now as a production of food stuff. So, 
Uh, now Master Smell is studying in Great Britain where uh, there was uh, industrial revolution where we expect that there was uh, a greater or well improved uh, production of consumption goods now uh, in Great Britain. So he tried now to, 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 to argue that uh, the population increase uh, increased faster than production of food stuffs. So as long as there was industrial revolution uh, where we know uh, different machines industry were uh, established uh, in a large quantity but uh, the production of food stuffs uh, did not match with the growth of the people it means now the growth of the people was increasing faster than the production of food stuffs so this was his first argument against the relationship between the population growth and uh, the production of food stuffs and uh, a fixed supply of land also uh, food production increases leads to the population increase also it means that um, as the food production increases uh, as the food production increased also led to the increase in the population growth as uh, in Great Britain where now the study was made by uh, Robert Massas uh, during industrial revolution um, we expect we expect that uh, due to the presence of many industries that involved in the production of goods and services to the people so this led to the well improved in intrusion and uh, social services to the people so uh, these conditions now led to the increase of uh, the population now so uh, this uh, this shows that the relation uh, between food production and uh, population increase uh, is uh, direct or positively related as as food production increases also the population increases so uh, likewise we can say that if uh, the food production decreases also the population will really uh, stagnate or will decrease as there will be with no there will be with no enough supply of food stuffs for the population in how to grow uh, by establishing or uh, engaging in marriage uh, so that uh, new babies will be born uh, also another argument that made with Robert Massas uh, is that population was increasing at multiplying uh, it means that if it is two it will become four if it is four it will become eight uh, this in other words we can say uh, geometric progression uh, so the population was increasing at multiplying uh, while food production uh, was increasing at arithmetic progression it means uh, there are there is um, a difference uh, of uh, the same the same size of the increase in the uh, food production as we can see here uh, the food production was two then increased it to four increased it to six uh, so this is arithmetic progression uh, but this one uh, geometric progression it means that it multiplies uh, as we see here we have got two but here four it means two times uh, we, 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 two times two we get four uh, also four times two we get eight eight times two we get uh, 16 so population was increasing at geometric progression while uh, food production uh, was increasing at arithmetic progression so that was another relationship between the growth uh, of the population and the increase of the food stuffs in a population that was made by Robert Massas in Great Britain and made a conclusion over the uh, whole world now um, another argument is that if artificial methods are not used to control population then population will be doubled after 25 years 
uh, it means we know that there are different artificial methods that can be used to, to control the population. And uh, as if we find that the population now uh, is increasing into the extent that the available natural resources, for example, land, cannot control or cannot manage to produce uh, necessary requirements, especially food staffs, to, to manage to be used by the population size. It means that there are artificial methods that are required to be used in order to control the population. A good example is like abstain from sex, uh, even abstain from early marriage, or even do not marry at all. It means that uh, people uh, will stay single. So these are some of the art artificial ways, uh, sometimes even using uh, protective uh, devices during uh, now, uh, if now these artificial methods now are not used to control the population, now population will be doubled after 25 years, will be doubled. It means uh, if the population has got uh, 100 people, so after 25 years, the population will be 200 people. That's, that, that's why we say that the population will be doubled after 25 years. So, uh, also, if artificial methods are not used to check or to control the population, now natural calamities like wars, floods, diseases will check the population. Uh, here now, um, Robert Masters gave this argument as if the artificial methods are not used to control the population. Uh, the, like maybe making family planning, uh, using uh, what abstain from early marriage, or even uh, to stop uh, engaging in marriage at all. Uh, now natural calamities like wars, floods, diseases will check the population. Uh, a good example of uh, these diseases that uh, has led to uh, the death of men, uh, a large number of people in the world is COVID-19. So uh, the other diseases we have got cholera, malaria, uh, also even other diseases like uh, HIV AIDS. So uh, these are the natural calamities that are uh, used to check now the population after there is no use of artificial methods now to control the population. Hence, uh, the growth of the population now uh, has exceeded now the, uh, the production of food uh, due to the fact that there is a fixed supply of the land. While we know that during fixed supply of the land, when we engage in production, it means that the production will lead will rise and when it will reach to the maximum it uh, the law of diminishing return to scale will apply hence now uh, the production will start to decrease to from maximum to minimum so that's why now the natural calamities are used now to check the population uh, also uh, Mr. Robert Massas uh, uh, gave another argument that the mismatch between population growth and food production leads to the massas population trap. Uh, where this, we shall look about this uh, massas population trap. Uh, this is a situation that occurs uh, due to the imbalance or the mismatch between the uh, population growth and uh, the food stuff production. It means that when the population growth now is greater than is the available um, food stuffs that are produced now to be used by the population, uh, it means that the population will be in a condition uh, that now the population is not able to feed itself, uh, yes, especially to get food now. It means there is no enough supply of food to be used within uh, the population. That now this situation is what we call uh, massless population trap. Uh, it means that now uh, the available food 
does not match with the number of the population size to be used. Uh, so this condition will lead now to the failure of the available population to, 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 to get the full staffs. So this condition is what we call a massless population trap. Also, massless claims that to, pre to prevent population increase, the following ways must be used. Uh, now, now he gave now the the ways that must be used to control the population. Where first is uh, families must have smaller number of children. It means that the families now uh, in a certain area there are, they must be with a smaller number of children in order to reduce the number of increase of the people in the population. Also, the second way is abstinence from early marriage. Uh, these are the marriages that take place when uh, the two people now who are engaging in marriage are still young. It means that uh, they have a long period of time to, to get children rather than uh, the people who are engaging in marriage with uh, a set, uh, an, an age uh, an age above um, 18 years uh, so it reduces now the, the time for, for them to get uh, children uh, but also uh, the third way uh, the third way to to prevent now population increase is do not marry at all it means that uh, people should stay single so this will help now to control uh, the increase of population so these are the ways that uh, we are proposed by Mr. Robert Massas so that to, to prevent now an increase in the population growth so that to make uh, uh, the balance between the population growth and uh, the food production as the land supply is fixed. Now we are going to look about the Masasian population trap as this explains the result when population growth does not match with food production. For example, uh, food shortage fall in living standard of people. Uh, people are trapped in a situation that they cannot feed themselves. Now, this Masasian population trap is trying now to explain about the effects the effects that occur when the population grows and production of food stuff does not match it means that what happens now uh, is how uh, mr masters uh, tried to explain here that there will be with food shortage as the population is greater than the food supply so there must be with uh, uh, less supply of food than how it is required as a uh, food shortage. Also, there will be with fall in living standard of the people. It means that now the standard uh, of living of the people will decline as uh, there will be with no enough nutritional services, uh, even other social services. Also, people are trapped in a situation that they cannot feed themselves. Then later, uh, if this situation uh, continues, it means that uh, people now will be trapped to a situation where they cannot feed themselves. So, uh, as we have got a sketch here that indicates uh, this horizontal line indicates time and uh, this vertical indicates uh, food supply. So here is a uh, population growth. So we have already seen that as food supply increases also the population growth increases. So but here we have got uh, food production. So if uh, this line for uh, population growth but this is for food production. So if uh, this population growth is above uh, this food production it means that the number of people is greater than the amount of goods 
uh, for food to produce it to be used within the population. So now uh, a gap that is made now uh, between uh, population growth and food production here is what we call population trap. It means that uh, at this point now people cannot feed themselves. So uh, this uh, is uh, a trap that, that is uh, explained with Robert Massas where the mismatch between uh, population growth and population uh, food production uh, will. So also uh, now let us look about the criticism against Massa's theory. So as we have seen in the arguments that were proposed with Mr. Robert Massas, so there are criticism against uh, his theory. First, uh, Massas now ignored improvement in farming methods as uh, he claims that uh, in a fixed supply of land and we expect that as the population grows it means that there is an increase in food production but due to the fixed uh, supply of land it means that uh, it will reach a point where uh, the law of return to scale will apply that production will reach to a point where it will start to decline but uh, now uh, mr robert ignored the improvement in farming methods where uh, the same fixed supply of land can be used uh, using different farming methods that uh, could help to supply more it means that there will be with a greater quantity of goods for consumption but also uh, he ignored in uh, he, he ignored international trade and foreign aids uh, we know that international trade refers to the trade that is made across the uh, country boundaries uh, so, so this can be made uh, with more than one country where uh, now food stuffs can be transported from one uh, place to another especially from area of, of abundance to the area of shortage so as uh, Robert Marsas made his study in Great Britain so he ignored that there is a possibility of the foodstuffs to be uh, transported from the area of abundance to the area of shortage hence now these problems now of uh, Marsas trap can be solved also foreign aids there are foreign aids that a certain country with abundance of food stuffs can give us an aid to a country with a scarcity of food hence the problem of uh, population travel uh, can be solved but also uh, the advanced uh, he advanced the theory during mass unemployment as we have seen now in our introduction is that uh, Rev. Thomas Robert Marsas uh, advanced the theory of uh, uh, the theory of population during industrial revolution in Britain where there was mass unemployment as a result uh, where uh, most of the numbers of, of the people jobs were replaced by uh, the modern machines that were established during industrial revolution. So there was mass unemployment. It means that a large number of people now were unemployed. It means they, are, they were idle. So now uh, this uh, Robert Marsas did not uh, take it into consideration. Uh, also, uh, Mr. Thomas uh, ignored the distribution of resources and income. We know that the natural resources, for example, lakes, rivers, uh, big forest, water bodies, uh, hills and mountains are unevenly distributed in the earth surface where we can find that there are other countries with um, uh, plenty of uh, natural endowments uh, for a good example, in Tanzania, we have got uh, um, more than one national parks. We have got Kilimanjaro Mountain. Uh, we have got Lake Victoria. We have got Lake Nyasa, Lake Tanganyika. 
and so on. So uh, this is uh, the distribution of resources that can be used now in generation of different goods so that to get uh, food production. So uh, also uh, another criticism against Martha theory is that uh, this theory was developed uh, concerning or comprising the whole uh, world but the study was made only in Great Britain during Industrial Revolution. So uh, this uh, becomes unrealistic uh, because the study could be made over the whole world so that to, to make general uh, uh, judgment that concerns the world. Uh, but also he ignored law of improved transport and communication. We know that uh, if there is an improvement in the transport and the communication, there are, must be with a communication between people uh, within area of shortage with the people in abundance so that they can make transportation of different food stuffs uh, to solve the problem of scarcity to the area of shortage. So, uh, Rev. Thomas, uh, Robert Masters uh, did not take it into consideration. But also he ignored the role of population as factor of production, as he claims that as the population increase, uh, also the production increase, but uh, the population increase in geometric progress, it means that the population increase at a larger quantity than the uh, production, but uh, he ignored the law of as the population increase, as uh, we get uh, more uh, or large number of labor force who will be employed now in the production of enough food. It means that as the population is large, it uh, also we get the large number of factors of production. Now, uh, the production of food can be large also. Also, uh, population does not increase in geometric progress. It is not necessary for a population to increase in multiplying, uh, as how uh, Rev. Thomas Robert Masters claims that the population was increasing at uh, geometric progression while food production was increasing at an arithmetic progression. So this gives an realistic of this theory as it is not necessary for the um, population to increase in multiplying. Uh, also, it is not true that population grows due to the increase in production of food. As uh, Mr. Robert Mathers uh, argued that the population increases due to the increase in the production of food. So this is not true. Uh, there are even other factors that lead to the population increase. Uh, for example, uh, improvement in, uh, in welfare, uh, in improvement in healthcare, even in early marriage, uh, even in religious practice like marrying men and wives, uh, even in uh, making uh, or bearing many charts as a play stage in different tribes. So uh, those are the factors that can lead to the population increase. But uh, in this theory we have seen that uh, population increases due to the increase in the uh, food production. So after we have discussed now the meaning of uh, population theory developed by uh, Rev. Thomas Robert Massas during the Industrial Revolution in Britain. Also, we have seen the uh, population trap. We have seen the criticism against Massas theory. Uh, let us end up our session here, and this will mark our end of our topic of population. But uh, we have got a question here. Uh, that states that what are the patterns of Mansas theory in your country? It means that how now this theory uh, can be uh, can be used can be usable in your country. Thank you very much.